Hello, I'm William Michael of the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. Uh, I'm a Catholic classicist, and I'd like to uh, talk a little bit in this video about how Catholic families can enrich their Seton homeschool curriculum. One of the stressful things about homeschooling is choosing a curriculum. Uh, there seem to be many different options, and, and many parents... Uh, they, they move from one to another and they, they jump around and make a lot of changes, but none of that ever accomplishes anything. Uh, if you're a family that feels comfortable with uh, the Seton homeschool curriculum, uh, you're better off just sticking with it. And the best thing to do, rather than constantly think about whether you should uh, change things, is just figure out how you can enrich that curriculum. When we look at college admission, when we talk about selective colleges and universities, what they normally say in their admission information is what they're looking for in prospective students is to find students who have taken the most challenging curriculum available to them. And so it's sort of a relative standard because different resources are available to different students and colleges know that. So what they try to discern is uh, whether a student coming from a certain family uh, with a certain socioeconomic um, background has made use of the resources that are available to him or her and has pursued the most challenging, the most academically rigorous study program that was available to him. Now, if we use the Seton Homeschool curriculum, we're not pursuing the most rigorous uh, course of study available. We're seeking through the, the Seton curriculum to simply cover all of the K-12 requirements, and that's good. Um, it, it gives parents peace of mind knowing that they're checking the boxes and getting grade-level studies done. But it leaves something wanting. It, it doesn't provide students with the most challenging program available. And so what I advise uh, parents who contact me who are using Seton and would like to know uh, what they should do, I don't advise them to switch over to the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. Because if you, if you don't understand uh, the classical Catholic curriculum, you're jumping into deep water. And uh, I don't necessarily think that's good for the kids when, when the parents start something that they really don't understand. So what I would recommend and what I do recommend is that parents stay where they are, make the best use of a grade level curriculum to satisfy the requirements of the grade levels, and then simply enrich that curriculum with additional courses, which add to the rigor of the study program, which is what uh, selective colleges and universities want to see. They want to see um, a desire for a challenge. They want to see students stepping beyond what's required and pursuing more out of their own curiosity and desire to learn. So my recommendation, if you're using uh, the Seton homeschool curriculum, is that you keep it and you simply uh, work to add challenging courses to that program, uh, which will benefit uh, the students in many different ways. Now, once we say that, once we talk about enriching the school curriculum, the next question is, uh, well, how should I enrich the school curriculum? What kind of courses should I add to enrich the school curriculum? And that's, that's a more challenging question, uh, especially because parents, like I said, may not know very much about the classical Catholic curriculum. Uh, and so it's hard for parents to decide which courses they should add. Uh, so what I'd recommend is let's, let's start with high school age students. Um, Seton is going to cover uh, subjects like catechism, English, mathematics, social studies, uh, maybe modern science, you know, all the basic high school courses will be covered by Seton. What's a course you should consider adding? The first course that I would recommend, and it's a challenging one, would be classical ethics, studying 
uh, the moral philosophy of Aristotle, which has played a very important role in Catholic moral teaching through history. Adding Aristotle's classical ethics to the Seton uh, homeschool curriculum in high school will radically improve the rigor of, of the curriculum. So uh, classical ethics is a great addition. Classical languages, um, I really don't know how well Seton uh, covers uh, classical language studies, but uh, to, to give a student um, a couple years uh, immersed in Latin reading, uh, like the course we offer in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy, would again add a good deal of rigor to the high school curriculum. Another course I'd recommend um, to, to the Seton curriculum would be our classical arithmetic or classical geometry course, one of those two courses, to add classical mathematics to the normal uh, modern mathematics um, courses in a high school curriculum. Those sorts of things, classical studies, classical language, um, classical mathematics, uh, classical philosophy, that's where high school parents should look to enrich the Seton curriculum. That's where the Seton curriculum is weak. And uh, that's not a criticism because, um, you know, the, the, the Seton homeschool curriculum is intended to, to provide sort of a, a minimum requirement K-12 study program for homeschool students, and that's what it does. Um, it doesn't pretend to be something that it's not. It's not, uh, you know, the curriculum that was studied by saints or philosophers of the past. It's just a modern uh, K-12 study program for homeschool parents, and if that's what you're using it for, it'll work just fine. But you can consider enriching that program with uh, a number of the courses that we, add, that we offer in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. For younger students, if you've got a, a, a higher level elementary student or a middle school student, one course that I'd recommend is Aesop's Fables. The course that we offer in the academy uh, gives students the opportunity to study the fables of Aesop, learn how to understand and apply the moral lessons in Aesop's fables. And there's graded assignments in that course, which uh, give the students the opportunity to, to read the fables, uh, paraphrase them, think about the moral lesson, uh, think about the characters uh, that Aesop chooses in the fables, and then make applications uh, to their own lives, which is very helpful. So that Aesop's fables course um, is a really good one. Uh, so th that's the kind of thing you can do if you're, if you're studying with Seton Homeschool and you're concerned that the kids might not be getting uh, as much of a challenge as they can get. That's usually uh, the, the complaint that I receive from parents about Seton Homeschool. Um, it's that it's just not challenging enough. Or there's lots of, there's lots of work, but the, 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 the level of study never really ascends to where Catholic parents would like to see it ascend. And it certainly doesn't have anything to do with uh, the, the system of education that was studied and taught by the saints. And so parents are usually looking for more. And if you don't understand the classical Catholic curriculum, if you don't understand uh, the history of Catholic education, I don't recommend you get into that deep water when you've got uh, homeschool uh, responsibilities to take care of, but that you simply supplement the curriculum with one or a few courses uh, from the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. Now, if you are interested, if you have time, if you've got young ones still at home and uh, you'd like to learn more about the classical Catholic curriculum so that maybe your younger children could benefit from a more thorough classical Catholic education. Uh, on our website, uh, I've published a book, and it's not really a book, it's just a collection of lessons that I've taught to parents in the past. It's called Understanding Classical Catholic Education, and it goes through the history of education, uh, from the ancient world, biblical times, through Greek and Roman civilization, into the age of the church, and through medieval history to the present day, and explains the history of uh, 
uh, classical Catholic education, and it's intended for homeschooling parents. It's easy to read. It's very practical and simple, uh, and you can download a copy of that for free from uh, our website. If you go to classicalliberalarts.com and just scroll down to the bottom of the home page, you'll see uh, the section there where you can uh, get a free copy of that book. And that, that might be helpful in, in uh, learning about classical Catholic education for the future. So I hope that's helpful. If you'd like to enrich uh, your Seton Homeschool curriculum, you can certainly do so in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. Um, uh, I'd be happy to talk about this more with you if you'd like to consider other courses or talk about uh, unique circumstances with individual children, just get in touch. You can uh, contact me by email at mail at classicalliberalarts.com or you can give us a call here at the Academy office at 704-776-4696. And our website with, with all the information is available online at classicalliberalarts.com. I hope that's helpful. God bless your studies.